Hello, and welcome back to the Getting Started video series for VMware vCloud Air Virtual Private Cloud On Demand. In this video, we'll walk through the different screens and capabilities for managing your virtual data center on vCloud Air. We'll also take a look at the steps to add and modify user accounts so that you can provide role-based access to your virtual machines. Before we jump into the deeper management features available through the VPC On Demand user interface, Let's run through a quick overview of the solution, which is provided as part of vCloud Air. VPC On Demand is a pay-as-you-go infrastructure-as-a-service offering that allows you to set up and utilize a secure virtual data center in the cloud. It includes configurable storage and networking and provides you with a VMware-compatible platform. You can use this platform to create new virtual machines or dynamically scale your existing virtual machines without purchasing new hardware in your data center. To get started, go to your vCloud Air homepage, where you can select the different services for your account. Let's choose the Virtual Private Cloud On Demand tile. This will take you to the administration page for VPC On Demand, where there are four global tabs to view and manage your environment. These include resource usage, virtual machines, gateways, and networks. These configuration tabs are also covered in a previous Getting Started video. If you haven't seen it yet, we highly recommend that you do. Let's start here by taking a look at how to create new user accounts to provide your team with access to the virtual machines running in your environment. To view the User Accounts page, simply click the Tools menu and select Users from the Options list. For a new account, click the Add User button and in the dialog window, enter the information as shown here. Be sure to enter the new user's email address accurately because it will be used to send login information for getting started. To assign a specific role to this user account, use the available list in the overall access control area. For a complete description of the different roles and their associated capabilities, refer to the VDC on-demand user guide. Note that you can also modify existing user entries from this page. Just choose the user account and then click Edit. If you need to reset the user's password, select the Reset User Password option. This will generate an email message for that user with the steps to reset their password. To return to the vCloud Air account page, click on the Home link in the upper left side, and then click the Virtual Private Cloud On Demand tile. Now let's move to the Resource Usage tab. This page shows the most up-to-date information on your virtual machine usage. Remember that VPC On Demand is a pay-as-you-go service, so you're only charged for the resources you consume, not by the number of virtual machines. This metering approach gives you the flexibility to configure virtual machines of different sizes and only pay for those specific resources while the virtual machine is running. This includes CPU, storage, and memory. You can view all usage for your account or segment it by specific virtual data centers. Use the Virtual Data Center pane to select all virtual data centers or only a certain one. The Resource Usage page refreshes with the most current information. This information is gathered hourly so you can easily and accurately monitor usage. As you can see, this demo environment has only been up and running for a short time, so there isn't a lot of usage information provided. Finally, let's take a look at the help options available within the VPC On Demand site. Click the Tools menu at the upper right of the site page for two ways to access help. The first option takes you to a menu-driven knowledge base where you can view documented help records that are updated on a regular basis. The second option, Support Center, opens a separate browser window and takes you to the centralized support site for vCloud Air. Here you can search for technical documents to troubleshoot an issue or submit a help ticket for a support engineer to contact you. Let's recap. In this video, we've reviewed the administration screens for user accounts and resource consumption within VPC On Demand. You now know how to add and modify users to provide role-based access to your virtual data center and you're familiar with the different options to view resource usage for your environment. To learn more about additional features and functionalities, check out the other Getting Started videos in this series.